Right, let's orange the world. Gender-based violence is something that needs to be tackled all over the place. Many of our activist supporters of SAS Rights and the Shadow Project are locally based or based in the UK. But we also have international supporters and one of our top supporters and new director of SAS Rights is Dr. Mapula Kebaniwe from the University of Botswana, where she is senior lecturer in the study of the Hebrew Bible. She incorporates activism, particularly on environmental destruction and gender-based violence into her teaching. And she has been a really passionate supporter for many years of the Shiloh Project and visited us here in England on numerous occasions to tell us about gender-based violence in her part of the world. Because shockingly, Botswana, where Mapula lives, has the second highest incidence of gender-based violence perpetrated against women. It's not only a place that has many problems, it's a place that has many solutions, a place that has many very powerful activists of whom Mapula is one. So listen up and find out more about the wonderful Dr. Mapula Kebanilwe. Hello there. Um, as already mentioned by my uh, teacher, professor, mentor and friend, Professor Johanna Stewart. Uh, this is um, Mapula Diana Kebanilwe from Botswana. I'm a scholar of Hebrew and Old Testament studies at the University of Botswana. My work uh, explores the intersection between the Bible, society, or cultures, gender, women, and the environment. Um, I'm hoping that my collaboration in the SAS right will help take my work as an academic a long way um, in achieving the most desired goal um, of a balanced world um, which knows no gender boundaries. Um, the issue uh, that is pertinent at the moment uh, in this collaboration is the issue of gender-based violence. Um, and gender-based violence um, has a long and very distressing history in Botswana and uh, Previous research shows that um, at least 67% of Botswana women experience gender-based violence uh, in their lifetime. And this um, is partly because um, Botswana, um, as other or if not all of African countries, uh, are very patriarchal uh, are very patriarchal and uh, research also shows that um, because the Bible which is also a very important um, uh, book in Botswana is um, as uh, Botswana is uh, predominantly Christian with at least 70% of its population subscribing to Christianity uh, the Bible has um, is well known for uh, for being patriarchal and deeply androcentric, and therefore um, my uh, research really explores this intersection between the Bible um, and society uh, with regard to. Um, the pertinent issue of gender-based violence uh, to the detriment of uh, especially women and girls. Therefore, by being part of this uh, SAS rights um, uh, project, I'm hoping that um, we can further explore um, this interface between the Bible and gender-based violence. Um, yes, um, 
there is a need like never before to strive um, for gender equality uh, because as you know uh, as of late or currently Botswana is um, second to South Africa uh, in gender-based violence incidences across the world. Um, therefore, we can see that something must be done about it. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do together. And um, uh, we hope for the best. Thank you.